we have reached a milestone with Tesla full self-driving cars. The Model 3 with full self-driving makes a 358 mile trip across California with almost new human intervention. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. A Tesla driver made a six hour journey across California on Monday without any intervention from the driver save for a charging stop. He traveled from Los Angeles to Silicon Valley. YouTuber and Tesla enthusiast who tweets at Hallmark's catalog WMC posted a time-lapse video on YouTube of a Tesla Model 3 with the full self-driving beta traveling from the headquarters of SpaceX in Los Angeles to Silicon Valley. The full self-driving package of Tesla, currently at $10,000 add-on to Tesla, allows the cars to stop at traffic lights, recognize signs, change lanes, and park themselves, but does not give the vehicles full autonomy. It's not level 5 autonomy yet. However, the Hallmark's catalog claimed that the driver refrained from steering the car, accelerating or braking, except to make one stop to charge the car in Kettleman City. This one minute at 15 second stop was the only form of human control in the entire 358 mile long trip. I wonder very soon if Tesla full self-driving cars, the FSD package, can also find the nearby uh, station, nearby uh, supercharger station and make the stop itself. Now, the fact that it made it all the way down to Los Angeles and then back up with zero intervention suggests that this is more than just luck. The YouTuber Hallmark's catalog user commented on the video. The software is getting better. I've reported earlier that since Tesla is doing this beta test with a, a handful or a lot of Tesla users with FSD beta test, um, I've reported that Tesla software, the FSD software, keeps improving and updating based on data it receives. So sometimes it's daily, sometimes it's weekly. So obviously we're seeing that the software is getting better because we have seen videos in the past where the same uh, beta tester of full self-driving is going to the same location, same street, same problem. And uh, now that person is able to do the same uh, maneuver without human translate uh, intervention, but just Tesla doing by itself. Hallmark's catalog told Tesla Radi, this time was even better since there was only one charging stop and the system was never disengaged at all from start to destination except to plug in. The car was only under human control for 1 minute and 15 seconds out of more than 5 hour drive. For days prior, um, Hallmark, Hallmark's catalog tested out Tesla's full self-driving beta in a Model 3 from San Francisco to Los Angeles without any intervention. In the comments, the user said giant pieces of debris in the road meant they had to grab the steering wheel to dodge them. Uh, aside from this and uh, charging the car, car twice, they didn't have to intervene in any other times, what Hallmark's catalog said. And and also, you know, earlier Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that before Tesla full self-driving reaches level 5 autonomy, it will need a series of updates that will improve it. We see that those improvements are coming. Watching such videos, one gets the impression that this will be achieved in the near future. A few months ago, no one could even imagine that a car could drive 6 hours without driver intervention. But now it has become a new reality. In fact, speaking of new realities, we're learning that Tesla supercharger network now allows Model 3 owner to travel from New York to Florida for less than 70 hours. Simon Alvarez has the story reporting at uh, teslarady.com that one of Tesla's biggest advantages in the electric vehicle sector is arguably its supercharger network, which allows vehicles to reach charge their batteries in a convenient, rapid, and affordable fashion. This was highlighted recently by a Model 3 owner who spent less than $70 in supercharging fees during a two-day trip that spanned over 1,200 miles, actually 1,200 miles, 1,200 miles, from Buffalo, New York to Melbourne, Florida. Tesla owner Richard Clements 
shared some insights about his 1248 mile drive in a recent post on the tesla owners club new york state blog according to the tesla owner the trip was now uh, was not difficult at all especially since the model 3 provided all the information necessary to ensure that the vehicle always had sufficient charge Thanks to the supercharger network's reasonable rates, the Model 3 owner only spent an average of 0.25 uh, cents per kilowatt hour during the New York to Florida trip. This meant that over the course of the two-day drive, Clemens only spent a total of $69.96 in supercharger fees. The Tesla owner noted that this amount was about half of what he used to spend when he was still making the trip with his Jaguar or uh, Honda CRV, even with low fuel prices. Clemens noted that he would spend about $100 in fuel costs. Let me know, friends, how, how is your cost going? How, how much does your Tesla charge when you, uh, you spend on charging wherever you are, which, whichever state you are from? It will be interesting to see how things are going in terms of pricing of charging and the difference between the electric vehicle charging and gas cars in the meantime this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news analysis and ring the notification bell after you subscribe uh, so that um, so that you don't miss my next tesla or electric vehicle story by the way i just recently forgot to report that in just little um, addition to today's reporting that uh, there is great um, a uh, great uh, update from Gigafactory Texas after it has been being built 160 days. The construction of Gigafactory Texas has only been going on, you know, for about 160 days, but the site has already been transformed into a very busy industrial area where, uh, where a massive electric vehicle factory by Tesla is coming to form. Considering the speed of its construction, it would not be surprising if Tesla Model Y or perhaps even Cybertruck production begins at Tesla Giga, Berlin, uh, Giga, uh, Giga Factory Austin sometimes um, uh, in 2021. I believe that it may be possible to do it at the end of 2021 because we see great advance coming at Giga Factory Austin. What do you think, guys? Do you think Tesla will start building the Cybertruck and Model Y at Giga Factory Austin uh, at the end of uh, 2021? Because we have seen Tesla having the experience of. Um, building uh, at astonishing speed at uh, gigafactory shanghai and also we learned that uh, based on recent video from elon musk the building at gigafactory berlin the shell is is basically done it's, it's almost ready and this is going to uh, give us good hopes that uh, the cybertruck and model y from gigafactory austin may be built by the end of this year 2021 let me know your thoughts friends and please like this video if the information was interesting this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news like this video ring the notification bell after you subscribe please and i'll see you in our next report peace be with all of you god bless you and see you soon